Hey everyone, it's Emma. As you can tell by my beauty guru setup, I am going to be doing a makeup video today. Yesterday I went to Walmart. I ran across the Wet n Wild Festival Collection, I think it's called. It's called the Fantasy Makers Collection. They've already had a Fantasy Makers Collection, which was like their Halloween theme stuff, but this is the new Neon Collection. So I ran across it at Walmart and I thought it was so pretty. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna pick some of this up and I'm gonna review it and do a makeup look because I haven't just sat down and done a makeup look in a while. So I picked up five different things. So let me show you what I picked up. First, I picked up this pigment palette in Desert Heat and it has like a coral color, a kind of like a, like a bronzy-ish color and then two glitters. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. The glitters and the coral color are really what pulled me into this palette. So I'm excited to use that. And then I grabbed a highlighter in the color Flash Me and it's like a pinky corally highlighter. It is gorgeous and I thought it would go really well with that eyeshadow palette. Then they have some body glitters. They call it a glitter gel. And this one doesn't necessarily match the theme. They did have a gold one, which I was gonna pick up because it would have matched my look a little bit better. But what really pulled me into this one is that it has stars in it. And I was like, that's so cute. So it's kind of more like a gunmetal silver color. It has little stars in it, as you can see, and I thought that was so cute. So I couldn't pass up stars, so I had to get this one. They have a ton of different colors in all of this stuff, like the palettes. They had so many color, like different colored theme palettes, which I thought were also gorgeous, but I figured that I would also be able to use this one like any other time, not just in a wild makeup look. I picked up a glitter eyeliner in the color Turned Up. It's just a gold glitter eyeliner and I thought it would go good with the look so I picked this up and then the last thing is a lip gloss and it is so pretty I am in love with this color it's like a peachy color I thought it would go good with the palette and I could wear it any other time because it is so pretty it's gorgeous it's in the color wonderlust and yeah those are all the products that I picked up so I will be doing all of my other steps on my makeup they had a couple other things they had a setting spray, I mean a primer spray, I think it was a primer spray, and they had a loose highlighting powder, which I do want to pick up, but I figured since I would be using this one, um, I would go ahead and just pick up this one for now. They had um, liquid eyeshadows, they had eyelashes. I was gonna pick up a pair, but I didn't feel like making the decision at the moment, so I didn't. But yeah, they had quite a few other things, but I only picked up five things to try out so I will be doing all my other steps in my makeup with the makeup I already own but I asked you guys questions on my snapchat and on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram and if you don't have me on snapchat go ahead and go follow me and add me on both those things instagram's emma Westlow, snapchat is emma kins um so I'm gonna be answering those questions while I'm doing my makeup for you guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into the makeup look I am gonna go ahead and start off by moisturizing my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Since we've been under quarantine and all that kind of stuff, obviously nail salons have been closed. I haven't been able to go get my nails done. And if you know me, you know that I went and got my nails done religiously. Just kidding. I went and got them done like every three or four weeks whenever they would be super grown out and I couldn't take it anymore. But I did always have my nails done before this. I got them done right before all of this started and then I was going to get them refilled like literally I've said this in a video before I was gonna get them refilled literally the Saturday before like quarantine started but I decided not to and so I've been stuck with no nails for this whole quarantine which has really sucked so right now these are my own nails I've actually kept them pretty long I'm pretty impressed with myself I just painted them myself they look kind of ratchet but I've kept them decently long pretty impressed with myself except this one broke which I was really sad about I jammed it into a door I think my nail guys will be pretty proud of me whenever I go back to get my nails done I'm gonna go ahead and skip primer because I'm not wearing this makeup look out anywhere so I don't feel the need to clog my pores with primer right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and move straight into my foundation. I poured a really dark foundation into this e.l.f. 
concealer thing because it had a light concealer in it and the foundation was too dark for me so I thought I would like mix it and it didn't really work it, the foundation's still just like dark I also wanted to be able to use it as cream contour but I still tanned last night so we're gonna use it like just straight as foundation I would tell you what foundation is in here but I actually have no clue I'm moving into a new beauty blender I've been using my blue one since Christmas which is a long time so I figured I would start with a new one Yes, it's dry. Give me a second. I don't feel like getting up and going and get it wet, getting it wet, so I'm just gonna spray it with my Jeffree Star X Morphe setting spray. This is hands down my favorite Morphe setting spray I've ever used. It smells amazing. That's why it's my favorite. It's not like the formula's different or anything like that. Like it works the exact same as the regular Morphe setting spray, but it just smells like strawberries and it reminds me of strawberry shortcake, which I was obsessed with whenever I was younger. Not the food, the person. Um, the cartoon character, but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend in my foundation. I know I look crazy right now, but it's because I need to blend it down to my neck. So I never really got the hype behind Timothy Chalamet, and everyone on TikTok has said that if you watch his movies, you'll understand. So, so far I've watched two of his movies. I've watched Call Me By Your Name and Hot Summer Nights. I watched Hot Summer Nights last night and I do think he's hot, but the other guy in Hot Summer Nights is way hotter. Like the other guy is like hot and Timothy is like cute. You know what I mean? Like he can be hot, I guess, but he's more of like a, a cute boy. I'm gonna do what I saw on TikTok. So you're supposed to, I obviously already have other concealer on, duh but it said that you're supposed to put concealer on the inner corner and then up there and it like gives you a snatched look. Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. I haven't done my makeup in a while because at the beginning of quarantine and stuff, I was like obsessed with doing my makeup like every day, but it was at like midnight. So I wouldn't go to sleep till like six, which I still don't go to sleep till like six. That looks so good. But I've been into like staying up super late, but just like laying in my bed and doing absolutely nothing. Not like actually doing anything valuable with my time, you know? Because why would I do that? I have horrible under eye bags, like just like the bag itself. Got it from my mom. Thanks mom. Now we're gonna do powder and we're gonna answer a question from my Instagram or Snapchat. So on Instagram, Erica Haynes said, what are you planning on doing with your future? Great question. So I am finishing up Allen right now and Allen is a community college so it's just a two year. I just went to Allen so I could dance for a little bit longer and I figured that it would probably be smart to get a degree before I go and do whatever else I want to do because I've always known school's not really for me, college isn't really for me. I know a lot of people say that but like really I have never been a motivated person in school there's never been anything that's like super interested me i've never like wanted to go to school to be a doctor or a dentist or anything with health or fitness or history i don't know i've never really been interested in doing anything that requires a degree next year i'm going to cosmetology school who would have guessed that's my plan i plan on going to cosmetology school that takes nine months to a year. After that, I just wanna go work at a salon for as long as I need to, um, save up some money, and then I plan on moving wherever Morgan is because we wanna live together and live our lives together. We want to travel and see the world and just be BFFs living our lives. And I wanna do hair and makeup for people. And yeah, I don't know, that's my dream. But realistically, I'll probably be working at a salon for a while. So that's my plan. Go to cosmetology school, do hair and makeup for people, nails, all that kind of stuff. And eventually live with Morgan. Next step is bronzer. I'm using this Ofra bronzer in the color Versatile Matte. And my next question is favorite TikTok dance. And that's from Raquel Aguilar. Aguilar. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. But my favorite TikTok dance. That's a very hard question. I think my favorite TikTok dance is probably this one. Um, Jared, could you read number 23 for the class? No, I cannot. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we run down this rain. Right wrist and left wrist, that's rain. She said, what I want? What's going on? Why am I wet? Yeah, that's We run down this rain. Right wrist and left wrist, that's rain. She said, what I want? What's going on? Wait a minute. Who are you? I also like this one. Hey, dance on the night you've been served. I like a dude with a little bit of curve. Hit this poopy with an uppercut. Call it, call it Captain Hook. Hey, I go shopping. Mm, want it, then I cop it. Hey, yeah. I also like this one. Dances. I need to do more TikTok dances. I'm actually going to make a TikTok while I'm doing my makeup. Okay, next question. Someone asked me, do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. As you all know, I used to date Connor. We are not dating any longer. I said that in my Tinder video. I'm gonna use this Tarte blush in the color Pampered because it's like a corally peach color. And I think it'll match well with the blush. I mean, with the highlight. If you're wondering, which you're probably not, most of my face brushes that I use are from Tarte and my eye brushes are from Morphe. But no, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not really looking for a boyfriend. Connor and I were together for almost two and a half years. We still talk every day. We're really good friends still. I'm just looking to be single and live it up next year while I'm at cosmetology school because the school that I'm going to is in the same town as a lot of my friends as their college town so we'll probably be going out and having a good time and i don't really want to go into a relationship super fast since i just got out of a really long one time for our first wet and wild product <laughs> It literally is so gorgeous. Like, that's one of the prettiest highlight colors I've literally ever seen. But we're gonna put this highlighter on. Ooh. <laughs> it looks crazy in the camera. Wow. That is very pretty. It's very glittery, and I love highlighters that are glittery. So I think they just make me glow. So far, this is a 10 out of 10. I love this. This is, again, the highlighter in the color Flash Me. I just baked my face, as you can see. We're gonna leave that on there for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, so I'll zoom you in a little bit for that. I am going to be using the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal in the color Blonde. My sister, Mackenzie Weslow, asked, why do you always smell so bad? That is so nice of you, Kenny. That's what I call my sister, Kenny, because her name's Kenzie. Um, I don't know. I think I smell pretty good, but I guess if you think I stink, you can just go away. I think you smell so bad all the time. Don't worry, everyone. I usually smell good. She's just jealous. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow off camera and probably cut them out with concealer. And then I'll be back. So I did my eyebrows and I cut them out, but now I think it's time to move on to the eyes. We are gonna take the coral color on and m433 and we're just gonna go in with that we're just gonna put it everywhere and then we're gonna take this morphe m441 and we're just gonna put nothing on it and we're gonna use it to just blend this color to our brow bone then i'm gonna go ahead and take this like i'm gonna take this bronzy color i'm just gonna take it on my finger and put it on the outside of my eyelid since it's a shimmery color i don't want to work it into my crease normally i would put a little bit of a darker color in my crease just to darken it up but since i'm just gonna use this palette for my eyeshadow look i'm not gonna do that today now it's time for the glitters i'm worried because i haven't dug into these yet i'm worried that it's just gonna be like gel with a glitter overlay hopefully not um there is quite a bit of fallout in this coral color by the way but my plan is to put this color on the front part of our eyelid and kind of in our inner corner and then this on the outside of our eyelid so let's do that i'm just gonna take them with my finger because i feel like that's the most efficient way to do it i dug pretty good into it 
and this is what I got. That's what I got on my finger. And so far it's not just a glitter overlay, so that's a good sign. But we're just gonna go ahead and put this right on our eye. It is just like a gel consistency with glitter in it though. It's not like a glitter pigment or anything like that. It is a gel. You can't like dab it on there because if you just dab it, it like picks up the color, like your finger picks it up. But if you swipe it on there, then color really gets deposited onto your eye. This is what we got so far. Now I'm gonna use the other one, the darker one. There is quite a bit of a glitter overlay on top, but it's not just a glitter overlay. Like what I just picked up, that's straight just glitter from the top of it it's pretty but i did feel just the glitter come up i hadn't even hit the gel yet we're just gonna see how that goes on by itself like just the glitter that darker one worked better for me than the other one did now we're done with the eyeshadow palette i really liked it i think i did like the regular shadows better than the glitters we're gonna do glitter liner my brush is all messed up look you can see that it's all messed up it's annoying so I did like a little bit of a normal liner, but I am going to take the highlighter with a Morphe M508. I'm going to put the highlighter in my inner corner and on my brow bone, and then I think I'm going to put a little bit of the glitter liner over it. I am in love with that highlighter. So good, so good. That worked pretty well. I don't know, not my favorite thing, but it was good. But I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish my eye look and then I'll come back for the lips for the lip gloss. I finished my eyes and I didn't feel like putting eyelashes on so I just did mascara. But now it's time for lips. I'm going to be using, we're going to use um, a Tarte lip liner in the color Sweet Pea and then this little lipstick that I got in an Ipsy bag and I don't know where it's from but it's in the color Cosmic and it's really pretty. And then obviously the lip gloss. My lips are dry and crusty. Now for the final touch, the lip gloss. It's really pretty. And this is the final look. Oh, I haven't used my glitter yet use my glitter i put some on the outside of my eye and then i put one star each on my inner corner cute and then it's also on my chest obviously so now this is the finished look but let's see if we have any other questions to answer if you could have lunch with any person dead or alive who would it be well i have a few answers to this obviously i think it'd be cool if i could have lunch with jesus because he's the best love that man who wouldn't want to have lunch with jesus I guess people who don't believe in Jesus. Justin Bieber would be another answer. <laughs> Cause I love him, love my life. And then I thought about this the other day, cause me and my family were talking about it. If I could have lunch with a group of people, I think I'd want to have lunch with all of my favorite TV hosts. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but honestly, like Chris Harrison, the guy from River Monsters, the guy from Expedition Unknown, Nick Cannon. There are so many good TV hosts. And I would love to just sit down and talk to all of them. Be like, how did you get to do this? Because I want to be a TV host. That'd be so cool. But yeah, I'd love to sit down and just have a dinner with a bunch of my fave TV hosts. I know that's a weird answer, but probably not what you were expecting. The last and final question is from my friend Chloe Hagman. She said, you're so rich and we are so poor. How do I get to be rich? Let me show you. <laughs> This is how you get to be rich. <laughs> I'm a whole different person now. <laughs> big hoops are a big part of it. Sunglasses, normally we use tanning goggles, but I don't have any, so I put sunglasses on. Um, usually we either have a full face mask on or a full beat. Low pony or low slicked back bun. I added a bunch of rings. My big stacks. And I have a Michael Kors purse, but it's out of my car, so I don't have that right now, but I look so rich right now. Let me send a picture to my friends. I kind of do look fabulous right now, though. So, overall, out of all of the products that I reviewed and tried out today, the highlighter is definitely the big winner. 
honestly wet and wild is my go-to for highlighters especially crazy colors like this one because i would never just go to sephora and spend like 20 bucks on a pink highlighter you know but if you want a good pink highlighter go to walmart and or dollar general or wherever cvs wherever you find your wet and wild and get it for like maybe four bucks but yeah so this is a big winner for me i really enjoyed this product um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed my video. I had a lot of fun making it. I haven't sat down and just done my makeup in a while. So, if you guys want to see more makeup looks, make sure you comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!